Hey, what's up, Internet? Chris Krug checking in here from the C100 CEO Forum. I'm with my good buddy, Ian Lee. How's it going, bud? It's going great. I'm glad I didn't have to climb Mount Whitney with you. <laughs> yeah, 14,400 feet of terror. Uh, I heard, so if, uh, if you only carry my bag next year, I'd love to come with you. Awesome. Well, I think you can make it, actually. And we got a pretty good group of entrepreneurs and kind of tech guys coming, so you should definitely tag along. Yen's got some big news lately. He is the SVP of corporate development for Ebates.com, who was just purchased by uh, Rakuten, which That's is right. the leading e-commerce and uh, consumer finance um, company in Japan. Right, and they've made a, a, some interesting acquisitions along the way. Why did they buy you guys? Well, um, you know, a couple of reasons. Um, Rakuten has been very successful in Japan, and understands that. Um, that while um, the Japanese market, uh, well, the dominant Japanese market, there's tons of growth opportunity globally, and really Ebates uh, with our with our with um, our market share in China, Korea, Canada, and the U.S., as well as a, um, a, a killer. Uh, management team was just a really good addition to the Ebates family, uh, to the Rakuten family. Awesome, man. So you're a C100 charter member. You're Canadian, living down here in the valley, and you've been doing this for a long time. You used to be in like product marketing for Yahoo and for City Search, and tell, so tell me a little bit about that. Well, I was lucky enough to come down here in '96 to help found uh, City Search San Francisco, and you know, been uh, fortunate to be part of a bunch of um, successful companies like Yahoo uh, and Groupon. Had some successes that, uh, frankly, I learned uh, even more from. Yeah, man. Then our successes and um, and uh, you know, Ebates has been great because it was one of these uh, rare underhyped Silicon Valley companies with incredible consumer loyalty, and uh, we're fortunate enough that Rakuten. Uh, valued that um, that base of uh, consumer uh, members that were built. Yep, absolutely, and they valued it well to the tune of like two point five billion dollars or something like that, right? Uh, I, well, unfortunately, it's only a, it's it's only a billion dollars. But, okay. Uh, you know, uh, we'll take we'll take the unicorn when we can get it. Yeah, a billion with a B, right? Yes. Um, so you just wrapped up a, a nice panel in there. You were talking with a corporate development guy from Facebook. What was what were you guys talking about on your yeah. panel there? We're talking about um, how to uh, how CEOs can position uh, what CEOs should do to position themselves uh, to be to be acquired. Um, the reality is that you know 97% of uh, tech exits are acquisitions, and if you look at the um, exits over three hundred million dollars, you're seven times you're still uh, seven times more likely to be bought than to go public. Right. And so it's about uh, finding you know the building the relationships with the right um, acquirer to have an outcome like a Nest, which uh, Google bought for three billion dollars, or Facebook buying WhatsApp for right. nineteen billion dollars. Nineteen billion with a B. Those have both had B's on them. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, you know we're talking about you got to start investing in those relationships immediately, even though as a CEO of a startup you always already have too many things to do in a day. You just got to invest. Um, it's part of the life, man. Yep. Yeah. And you learn, uh, you build those relationships that meet, might lead to an exit, uh, and you also um, build relationships that might lead to product or channel acceleration. Right. Awesome. Well, hey, thanks. You're doing a great job down here with the C100, you know, supporting young tech companies as they come through. I've seen you work with lots of them and just like all around good guy to be around, knows lots of smart people, lots of fun to spend time with, and hopefully you climb Mount Rainier with me next year. Oh, that'd be great. KK thanks. and Yen Lee signed out from the Google HQ at the C100 CEO Summit. Bye, guys.